You're gonna you're gonna need the levels if you're gonna swap them. In. Range is just gonna outrange you until uh you get like level two range uh, level two swap or something like that. Reserve time. I think I think it's doable with like aether lens. You get a decent timing on your aether lens, then you can swap them pretty. Early. Either that or you play carry vengers, but carry Venge is kind of risky against lone druid. I feel. Yeah, of course. Just don't remember when, but I definitely have. Seize, turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, that's a really, really good point. It definitely is kind of surprising to see that Bat Rider Seven banned out time. when. You have the best, in my opinion, the best counter to Bat Rider, which is Nyx. I, I think it's the best. I mean, the, the thing about it is just, uh, if you get lassoed, right, a lot of people like having Venge to swap to break it. Radiant team ban. Good Nyx player. Carapace and blink on top of the fire, and you're just standing there. And you just kill him off, and then your teammate's free. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Ah. TNC's turn to ban. <sighs> Radiant team pick. Yeah, they banned it out themselves. Kind of curious to see what. Oh. TNC's turn. Is Enigma gaining popularity in Southeast, uh, Southeast Asian region right now? You copy Ice Ice Ice. Where's the Magnus? Though? Ten seconds remaining. Weeks. Radiant team pick. I think you can push just fine even without going the uh, traditional Ten Lone Druid build. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. I think TNC have been playing somewhat similar to. Reserve what WG time. plays? Yeah. It like reminds me a lot of that team. TNC's turn to pick. Ten. We're gonna see a. Are we gonna see a last pick Meepo? <laughs> Radiant uh, team. Carry Venge more than anything. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. I would definitely agree with that. It, it really depends on what their mid hero is, though. Because I think even with carry Venge, if you pick another four for your mid lane, that kind of like as a carry type, then. Maybe they can go late, but so far I, I agree with you. It does feel ban. all in. Imba spirit. Ban it out. But uh, TNC, they ban out, ban out the Shadow Fiend, and then they pick up Ember Spirit. So what exactly is the laning going to be like? Probably, so this is definitely support Weaver, and I guess safe lane Lone Druid. This should be a Raven Lone Druid. We've seen him play it a lot. Always. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Pretty, yeah, pretty strong. Reserve time. CP feels very, very weak. The cooldown just seems like it would.
completely throw off their the pace of the game. They're gonna have to wait for the ulti way too often. Dragonite's also too. Shadow Fiend would have been a pretty good pick. TNC also felt the same way and banded out. Ten seconds remaining. I'm really struggling to uh, think of a final pick for RRQ Five right now. Seconds remaining. Tinker. Ah. Oh. Yeah, pushing which March isn't that bad. It's not like their tower damage is terrible or anything. And. To be fair, TNC, they have to take the fight to RRQ, kind of similar to last game. The Death Wall is on the other side this time, they have to fight into it. Ten seconds remaining. Five I think it should be remaining. Nick's support with uh, and and playing an Enigma offlaning. I because th Eden Eden is playing Nick's. He was playing support last. Yeah. Time. And Koala with Sand King last. I think support Nick's support Nick's is very difficult to play well. Just like especially when you don't have a setup stun, like let's say from Shadow Demon I, I guess but Venge. He does. Well, yeah. sort of. I mean, that setup stun ain't roaming with you. Is my my ultimate point here. He, I know he's not going anywhere. You're not going to be roaming. You have a Chen, so we'll be doing all of the movement. So you just stay in lane and sit there as a Nyx. Much you, your yeah. bench do all the harassing for you, or well, not a harassing, <laughs> but setup for you. Uh, well, you can yeah. definitely right click as a Nyx because you have really high uh, regen, trade pretty decently. I mean, it depends, right? What if TNC just goes for the offensive traveling that I mentioned? Oh, uh, then you're you're you have to wait for that rotation from the. There's like absolutely no way yeah. you take a fight without your Chen. But if the Chen comes in okay, with we'll later, then the lane is actually pretty decent for RQ. You just whittle them down with the uh, the Seder blast, and then once they're low enough, then you can easily take a fight. But until then, like pretty hard to fight into TNC offensive tri lane. All right, Eden's Ooh, interesting. gonna. Interesting. Bam H is playing the Weaver. Yeah. <clears throat> I actually thought it would be like a farming undying and Weaver, so that you can actually pick up uh, support items. No, nope, we're gonna see Tim's playing it instead. Well, Tim's is pretty stack inventory wise. Has uh, the Mangle as well. Dying as a hero runs on mana pretty fast. Ooh. Of a delay smoke tactic here by TNC. Who's actually going to lead the charge? Like, they don't have a good disable. I guess Crystal Maiden being the best one. This but... is Crystal Maiden. It's yeah, it's still not very good. Well, RQ is just completely dodging it. Yep. Yeah, it seems like it is going to be at the offensive lane here from, uh, from TNC. I guess both sides are just really, really used to these uh, level 1 rune smokes. Doesn't look like Raven's even gonna bother going for her. No, he is. Okay. Well, perhaps, perhaps expecting the dodge. Aqualic could not pick up the, the creep in the first wave. He just like ran past him. Feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to pick up the creep and then eat the shrine and then go back out, but then it just he got neither. They kind of predicted that the lane setup would be like this. Yeah, they so they rotated dodging. the lanes again. But Similar I think just having the offensive I think just having the CM Weaver here is enough to shut down the Enigma, right? Yeah, I think so too. I mean, look at him, Enigma he's is just jungling. Jungle, yeah. Okay, well. CM gets to like, jungle as well. Two stun, at the top. Taking a lot of damage. Ah, it's fine. So right now, I think Undying and uh, Silver Bear lane actually just... completely beats out this lane as well. For sure, yeah. Uh, I would pretty much consider top lane as one. I think the mid matchup favors Tinker by quite a bit. 
And he even has Especially to deal with when the, there's a tornado. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've seen Cuckoo come back from worse lanes, so I I'm not even doubting it. Oh, the South is going to get cancelled. Cuckoo's kind of getting wrecked here. It's okay, I he's guess... the master of double South. Here comes another one. Is it? Is it actually coming? Yes, yeah, it is. It's actually coming. I mean, it's it's worth it. You don't want to expend that shrine so early. So overall, I think I think TNC actually do pretty well with Kyle. Oh Lincoln. no! Oh he's no! no. South again. I'm... Oh, that feels bad. <laughs> oh, he needs another south. He has to be careful here, because Tinker's holding on to a uh, skill point. Alright, right, now he's gonna... Oh, wait! Oh, but Eden's here? Dude, does he have a nuts? Okay. Alright. Give him a good scare. Like, they're in his head right now, man. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of lane rotation. Kalatuzad has gone back to the bot lane. And there's a Chen jungling, Enigma's up top jungling as well. So far, I gotta say, RQ is not doing nearly as well as uh, they did in the lane stage of game one. And looking at the graph, PMC are already pulling ahead, just being way more efficient with the setup that they have. Pretty much and winning two out of three lanes. I think mid lane is the only one that's not doing as great. Oh my god, is that a third south coming? I, I, hope he, I hope he uses that under his trees. Okay, let's see. Uh, he's waiting. Yeah, he's right. learned his lesson. Cuckoo's learned his lesson. Dude, he's still stopping under fish. Bottom lane. Kelty's on. It's gonna go down. Yep. Flip for Savage. Are they, are they diving It should be a second well? one, too. I don't think he can get yeah. He's only level one. Dude, man, that Gemini attacking so much work. We were gonna take a tower shot or two, but he's fine. I don't think I've ever seen triple Sal being delivered out one by one by one. I don't think I've either. It was a rough start for Cuckoo, but like you said, this is Cuckoo has come back from really, really rough lanes, and Ember Spirit's one of the best heroes to do it with. Like, you just I... need your levels, and if your team sets up for you, you just throw three remnants on someone and get that easy kill. I don't think I've seen this rough of a lane, right? And be said Dota history. Well, it's like it's like you said, first time for Triple South. Triple South. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like Kelty Zod has gone back up top again. Yeah. Okay, Tinker. Does have laser. I really appreciate this uh elbows laser double rocket build by the Tinker. I mean you're just dominating already, so keep laying it into Cuckoo, man. Cuckoo has to farm with bounty runes right now and not even a second shrine for him to use. Dude, look at his bottle gold. It's a 290. Like how does he actually lay now? He needs more regen. Someone has to give he him more regen. Needs more south. All right. Okay. Yeah. Four south. Four south coming up. No, no, no. I'm dying. I'm dying. Game himself. So. Yep. I mean, having south is nice, but it does not help him getting laser rocketed. Zephyr is gonna come in. Rior does have frostbite available. Frostbite, but here comes Eden. And Zephyr has that shrine him. as well. He yeah. doesn't even have to use it. Meanwhile, Kel'Duzad's gonna get solo picked up by Bear. Raven blocking himself a little bit, but he should be fine. Probably needs to, like, TP the Bear home or something. You can just walk it back. This is the, the new age of Lone Druid. You don't really care about your Bear too much. Walk Me. him back. Oh wait, he's AFK. Bear's AFK. Bottom lane, Koala. Forces a TP out from Kel'Thuzad, and Kel Kel'Thuzad, okay, you said, you know, there's first time you've ever seen a mid laner use three salves. Well, actually, technically, use four salves. This is the first time I've ever seen a uh, one position lane so. four times in five minutes. I've actually seen it more. I remember this one Chinese game where it, neither team was giving up in terms of mirroring the movement. There was an anti-mage who got chased, like, for ten minutes straight. <laughs> And he, he lane swapped like eight times. <laughs> Might have been like burning actually. I'm not I'm not exactly sure. But uh that's a very humorous game. But TNC very firm control of the laning stage. Weaver is farming very well. Lone Drew is farming very well. I mean Ember is getting absolutely wrecked, but uh, really I don't think they need Ember. Ember could just do whatever. Illusion. Yeah, I agree. 
And he's about to hit a six, so he can make those rotations happen now. Yeah, he can just get kills. Do stuff. Unless he dies to this camp. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fine. I mean, he had, he had fairy fire the whole time. It would be funny if he did die, though. But that pro man shield. What if, like, uh... You know, neutrals randomly crit. Get him. <laughs> if it was a crit wolf, then I don't think he would have played it that, that dangerously. All right, here comes the smoke. Yeah, Cuckoo is just gonna rotate. Yeah. He realizes that he's just gonna waste his time if he keeps trying to lane at mid. Kalthazad, yo, he knows. Sandwich has a Midas, by the way. Like this is as far as one could get. Yeah, boots Midas seven minutes in. I don't know. He didn't boot. Says by some. Eldizod playing support bench. I mean, he's moving around the map like a support bench. I'll tell you that. Raven, and... he feels something is up. Kelpizod, he's gonna Yo. catch out Raven. Is he gonna get the Sarich? He still has that roar. He needs to roar. Where's that swap? No, he doesn't have a skill yet. No skill. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, the swap didn't come out. I think he was. <laughs> bench on the uh, Tinker in mid lane. It's like one I'm really surprised was... to not see the swap. Yeah. I had to check whether he was level 6, and yes he was. I mean, that is, I feel like that's like the only reason why they smoked up, is because... And now, uh, TNC shrines back up. Straight up TP from the Undying, he does have Tombstone. Timps is baiting it. He does have a, a range drop, but this might be a little bit too much here. He's gonna no, get surrounded. No, this is the perfect bait. Okay, this well, he's gonna be bait. dead. Here comes the whole team. They have Black Hole available. Zephyr's gonna come in, get stunned a little bit. Triple Remnant in, that's one kill. Black Hole available, where is it? Black Hole's gonna be there, only finds one. Frostbite's gonna cancel it immediately. Koala's gonna pop that ring. Oh my goodness. And like you, you said, it might have been the bait. perfect bait. Okay. That was the perfect bait. Wasted all of their time and perfectly set them up in like the worst position they could imagine. You walked they were up all right? in the trees. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think walking up would have been much better than like walking right, for example. And that's like the Sandwich Weaver just got in there and cleaned up. Looks like he's going for a bottle. Very interesting. That was that was really good timing from because the tower is about to go down and Sandwich just teleported at the last second. Yeah. It, from the perspective of RQ, that looked like oh that's a very bad TP, and then he completed it. Thanks. Ooh, nice dodge here, and now Tombstone's gonna get dropped, but I don't know if this is gonna be a bait. He's probably gonna go down here, but on the back line, yes, it was a bait still, Sam. It was a bait! Comes in, and now focus on Kel'Thuzad. They don't want Eden. They don't care about Eden. Eden just dying to the zombie. Kel'Thuzad's gonna go down. Sandwich might be in a little bit of trouble, but he time lapse, and now Raven just moving forward. They need a little bit more damage. The swarm's gonna come, or not the swarm, the Blightstone being applied here, and looks like Tinker is gonna go down. Unless it's uphill oh. miss! Uphill miss! That RNG. But still, very, very big play by TNC. You mean by Tim's? By Tim's, yeah. Yeah, never doubt the, un the Tim's bait. That's, that's twice now. Baited them into uh, what they think is an easy undying kill. And that's right. like the strength of Infused Raindrop. Oh, Sam H dropping very low crystal man, letting loose an ultimate in the back line here, but. Okay, Samage still going far on the Tinker. They are gonna get the Tinker, Samage. One more second of time lapse. He's fine, he's fine, fine. Fuck but he has up. no he has no TP. Nah, he's kinda fine. In a weird p position. Nah, I just just he's gonna walk through someone again. Yeah, see, like he's like kind of stuck. He has to be very careful where he moves. They're gonna spot him out again. Just run, Samage. Okay, he's up the hill. And now he pops off the swarm and he's out. Nah, <laughs> he was fine the whole time. Never doubted. Yeah, Cuckoo picks up a kill on the bottom. Alright, this is looking really, really rough for RQ. They pretty much just ended up... I mean, the, the, Wait, they lost two out of three lanes. <clears throat> and, yeah. you know, while Ember Spirit did lose the mid lane, like, pretty hard, as we kind of expected, right? Tinker just completely destroys him. He sure. Pretty much didn't really care about it, right? You get the EXP up and you just make the rotations happen. And the two other two lanes that did end up winning for TNC is, is like really showing how how much they won it by. Yeah, I mean, 
to put things in perspective, there was dives between tier 1s and tier 2s and dives into the tier 3. And we are 11 minutes in. Uh, for a lack of better description, we are on pace for a 3-2-2 game, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Tims, oh, the clever bait. Is it going to be happening? He's going to ruin the 3-2-2 score if he dies here. He does have a magic wand. Is he popping it just yet? Pops the magic wand, heals himself back up, and he survived. And the bait commences. Cuckoo comes back in, goes for Enigma. He will get the kill. He's still alive. Cuckoo dropping low. The rocket coming through. Tims, not like this. Tims survives. Okay, he's going to be okay. Eden dropping very low. Meanwhile, Sam H, I don't know where he's picking up these kills, but he's he's alive. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. Tim's is a god, honestly. He is actually a god. <laughs> I, I like I like him decaying the ground there, expecting to get some HP back. But, uh, the 3T2 dream is alive right now. Just barely. Middle tower has fallen. Oh, that was that was great. Trying, yeah, dude, trying to gank an undying. Yeah. Never, a, oh, never no, an easy Zephyr. plan. Not like this. Look how much damage he does. He's dead again. Sam H. Did you see that play? Push? Yo, Sam H. Midas the creep that Chen just stole. He's like, nah. I'm gonna take your shoelace too. This is everything. This is this is awfully Weaver. Yeah. And he's so far, but he's still going for that utility item first. He's got a point booster. He's gonna go for that uh that scepter first item. I mean, he's gonna get it very fast because of the the Midas. I, I, want, I wonder how he's going to utilize this. Because I don't, I don't think it's something like... I mean, it's definitely really good for... For example, using it on Raven if they decide to siege. Oh, At no, the same you time, use it for Sam H? Of course. So he, could, so he doesn't have to die during his bait. Oh, two oh, you're smoke. for Tim's? Yeah. Or Tim's, oh, sorry. Smoke. Sam H? Wait, Sam time H has to be careful here. Fine. But on the back line, Everyone is done. Cuckoo. Oh my oh god! Oh my god, that damage. Reorg ultimate's gonna get cancelled. Okay, one man black hole, but the fire's gonna burn him down. Call the GG. They just call GG. 3 2 2 oh, my dies. Goodness. Okay, they got it. Alright. Well, game one was pretty competitive, but game two, TNC was the hammer, and RQ was the nail, man. They got they got absolutely wrecked. That was as 13 minute game, that's you can't ask for a more wrecked.